Hello, welcome back to Drive Driver Driven. Uh, my name is Humble and uh, I'm back. Uh, about as back as I'm going to be. Um, I've uh, tried filming this uh, about a half dozen times and I'm never really happy with the outcome, uh, whether it's too sad or melancholy or seems to drag on a bit. So um, I just want to cut to the chase give you the, the, the bad news, the good news, and sort of where we go from here. Short history, uh, I've been diagnosed with amyloidosis. Uh, while that in itself isn't too terrible, usually it's later onset in life, and about one in a million people have amyloidosis. Um, basically, it's where your body produces a protein that um, it can't really break down efficiently and it gets stuck in your organ tissues, uh, whatever the heart, liver, kidneys, etc. And uh, eventually, um, due to complications with where that protein gets stuck, uh, you'll usually pass away from complications, but it typically happens later on in life. Um, usually kicking in when you're in your 60s and typically... Uh, it's fatal uh, in your 70s or 80s. In my case and, and my family's case, uh, we sort of get it double time. Um, our particular protein, our strain of amyloidosis, uh, affects less than 30 people in the entire world. Um, and all of us happen to be related. And it kicks in when we're in our 30s. Um, and uh, same thing, it, it hits the heart, liver, kidneys, etc. And eventually those organs fail, but this time it'll happen when you're as young as 40s, 45, etc. So what happened to me with my heart disease is uh, I have the beginnings of uh, cardiac amyloid uh, stiffening or thickening of the uh, uh, walls of the heart. Uh, leading to heart failure and stuff like that. The bad news for me is that not only is it affecting my heart, but because of my high blood pressure and uh, the effects of amyloidosis, it's also getting into my kidneys and um, there it, it's altered the function of my kidneys as well. At the moment, I don't need any transplants, but I'm about as healthy as I'm going to be from now on forward. I will have to have a heart transplant at some point. I will have to have kidney transplants at some point, and I will have to have probably a liver transplant at some point, assuming I, I can survive all of those. A little bit of history in our family is uh, we don't tend to live very long. Uh, those of us that get diagnosed with amyloidosis, some of us dying before the age of 40 or 45, um, my mom happened to live the longest. I think she made it to right around 60. And she went through heart, liver, and kidney transplant. But it really uh, severely affected her quality of life. And then she passed not but a few years ago. So that's the kind of lifestyle I'm not looking forward to. And I would like to try and avoid if at all costs. Um, but quantity of life does not supplant quality of life in my regard. Um, I do not want to live as long as possible at any cost possible, but I also want to enjoy whatever time I have left, however long I have left. That's sort of the sad melancholy bit. I, I'm, not the, I'm not the kind of guy to get depressed. Um, whether it's too stubborn, like if you try to tell me to do things, I, I'll fight you on it. Um, maybe it's, I think you should be depressed and I, I'm just not accepting it. Um, I'm defiant maybe, but, um, I'm just not the guy to stay sad for a while or melancholy for a while. And I'd rather just get on with it. And that's what I'm going to do is, uh, I've gotten cleared for my surgery. Um, I'm all good to go now. I can start working on the cars again. I'm looking forward to getting the builds going again. I'm looking forward to getting some exercise again. While I can't do certain things, like welding is now out because of 
Uh, I have a pacemaker, so welding would definitely, um, let's say, make it angry and shock the piss out of myself. Um, so I got to get friends to weld. But other than that, uh, I've, I've been chomping at the bit to work on the Ultima again. On the good news side of things, I just wanted to say thanks to uh, everybody who who reached out uh, in well wishes, whether you're a, a vendor or supplier that I'm working with, whether you're friends or family, or just a complete and total stranger, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Um, all of that encouragement and all of those well wishes makes me want to get this project going and uh, on the road again to triumph over hardship, I guess. It seems ridiculous to say I won't let hard failure keep me down, but again, I'm stubborn. I'm not, I'm not going to let it keep me down. I won't, I won't let my disease dictate how I live uh, as long as I can help it. Uh, so with that said, I, I want to show you uh, some of the bits that have arrived just to leave you on a good note here. I'll do, do the Vanna White here. This lovely product is um, part of the carbon uh, side scoops for the Ultima. Um, these are made by Ultima themselves. It is real carbon. Um, the I just want to geek out for a second and say that um, Ultima's production, their in-house shops, uh, their carbon manufacturer, has come leaps and bounds. Um, uh, I cannot get over just how wonderfully this is put together, uh, just how ingeniously it mounts in the body. Uh, it's got a little lip here that catches on the rear vent, and then this bracket mounts on the inside of the side pod, and then this whole thing is held in with a, a captive bolt and a nylock nut. And uh, with the Nacaduct, the scoop, it helps pull cooling air into the car at speed and under clam temps in the back were always an issue with me. So um, I'm really excited to actually get these on the car to see if that helps with longer road trips or, you know, longer operation. Again, like just awesome work out of the factory. So um, all you guys over there, like amazing work, amazing job. Like keep turning out parts like this and people keep ordering cars from you. Okay. Of course, the box I opened had to be a rear wheel, but uh, there we go. Oh man, it's a big boy. So this is a uh, 19 by 11 uh, rear wheel, and I have some 325 uh, 3019 uh, Michelin Pilot Sport cups to go on these. Um, this is actually a, uh, it's a bigger wheel, but it's more narrow than I was running before. So previously I was on an 18 inch rim uh, that was 13 inches wide and uh, on a 335 tire. And what I'm hoping is um, I'll be able to find better options for tires. Uh, I was running r triplates previously and I'll keep that set as a set of track wheels uh, with the 19s. Uh, and the the Pilot Sport Cup 2s, uh, I think that's going to be a much more friendly street tire because they'll they'll warm up, they'll get up to temp, they'll grip better at, um, I, I say, relatively pedestrian street speeds. Um, and uh, even on track days, those tires will be better for, I'll say, cooler track days around the 60s and 70s, uh, where the r trip uh had trouble with... Uh, just getting up to operating temp. Like you, you have to push and push and push and push to get them not only up to temperature, but to stay at temperature versus the cup twos, I think will warm up much faster and they'll stay in their operating envelope longer than those R888s. They'll be less sensitive to um, relaxing or lift and coast than the R888s were. So we'll get the tires mounted and balanced on these. Right now there's just a huge tax, uh, stack of uh, wheels and tires eating up space in the garage, so we need to get these done. Uh, some other parts I thought I had in here, but I don't, is I've got a gaggle of uh, aim parts and wiring parts. Uh, 
for the electrical on the car because believe it or not we're actually going to get into that soon i know it's short uh that's all i've got for you now i want to leave the video on on a good note uh i know the hand i've been dealt and i'm gonna play it the best i can i'm excited to get back to work on the ultima uh i'm excited to be generating uh content and video for you guys again and uh, I'm excited for a more positive 2021. I know there was a very sort of naive and optimistic humble back in 2019 speaking about how 2020 was going to be so great. I kind of want to take that guy and just put him here now that instead of 2020, let's make it 2021. 2021 is when the great stuff will happen. And 2021 is what we're going to look forward to. So with that, uh, I'll leave you guys and I'll see you next time.